yo what is up guys code 29 is back with a brand new video today we are doing part eight yeah part eight to our beginner scripting series uh you guys have been really enjoying these like i've said in the past videos uh so i'm gonna keep making them uh we're nearing an end ish to the series I'm, I'm expecting at least a few more videos um but today we're gonna be going over instancing now instancing is gonna be really important like all the other things we've learned i'm just gonna disable these other scripts really quick and eh, the property script can stay but um yeah these are really important if you want to make a good game so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the future tutorials and other than that, let's get right into it all right so uh let's go into server script service and insert a new script and we're just going to call this script instance script. You can call it whatever you want, but I'm going to call it that. All right. So uh, what is instancing? We usually go over this and I have a cheesy little slide <laughs> usually for you guys to see. Um, instancing is creating a new thing inside of your game. It's as simple as that. You make a new thing through a script. Um, so we can instance whatever we want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something. I'm going to wait uh, we'll just wait five seconds before we start it. And then I'm going to insert a while loop. We're going to say while wait one do. Okay. And uh, this is going to be kind of crazy. But we're going to instance a, uh, a part every single second. Okay. Um, so we're going to say local part equals instance so we're putting this new part inside of a variable called part and then we can say dot new this is how you have to instance instance with a capital i dot and then new parentheses quotation marks and then you say what you want to make in here is every single thing you can have in your game so we can do whatever we want but i'm going to just insert a instance a part <laughs> we have to parent the part okay we have to tell every uh, tell roblox where the part is supposed to go so we're just going to say part dot parent equals uh game dot workspace because we want to put it inside of the workspace because that is where uh everything in the game is that people can see so let's go ahead and play it now and we will see tons and tons of parts every single second here's one here's another one look at all these parts so they're building up right now you just can't really see them um but there see all these parts that are starting to build up there's gonna there is a new part every single second watch this look at the look at in the explorer <laughs> there are parts filling up and my game is gonna lag pretty soon if this keeps up um but yeah, here's where you can really push Roblox to the limits and see what your computer can handle. I'm afraid mine's going to crash if I do anything else, but that is that. Um, so we won't, I said we were going to get into C-Frame later. So just bear with me really quick while I explain briefly how to do C-Frame. Uh, or actually, we're just going to do position, okay? So um, we went over properties, okay? And we skipped one called position. Now scroll down to position and move around the part you'll notice oh my gosh that mouse i have a touchpad thing not a touchpad what is that thing called i don't even remember put it up on the screen yeah that thing okay um so when you move it around you will notice that the um the position changes that is just that is an x y and z coordinate um where this that's basically saying where exactly it is in the game okay so all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the position it's at right now, okay? So that is exactly right where this part is. I just created a new part and dragged it somewhere up and copied its position. Now I'm going to delete it, and I'm going to say part, oh, caps lock, part.position equals, and then uh, I really didn't want to get into vector 3 right now, but we're just going to do this. Don't even worry what's going on. This is just how you uh, change the position. You just say vector 3 dot new and then push the, put the position. Um, you just have to write it that way when you're changing its position. So just write vector 3 dot new because it's taking in an X, a Y, and a Z coordinate. We'll get into that later, so don't worry about it. All we're focusing on right now is we've made a part and we can change its properties, okay? So let's run it. And now we should see every second there is a new part right about where where our first part was. See? It's creating it right here. And it's going to pile up pretty soon. Okay. 
And then, yeah, it's going to create tons and tons of parts just out of nowhere because we've instanced them. It's creating a part. And I wonder how long it's going to go till it falls. Yep, there it goes. So uh, that's pretty cool. But that's not a whole, a whole lot right now. Okay, so we want to do something cooler. We can say part dot brick color. We went over this in, uh, in uh, properties equals brick color dot random. Right, we did that. So we can just give each time we create a new brick, it's gonna have a different color. So let's go ahead and play the game. And every single brick should have a slightly different color. So we can see all this colorfulness just piling up. This is actually pretty cool. But yeah, that's instancing is very powerful and we're gonna do a little bit more um, with it but yeah i just kind of want to check this out really quick because yeah you can see that they're glitching um <laughs> my gosh it's going so high boom there it goes so these are the parts that we have been instancing and as you can see there are tons of parts everywhere all right so that's instancing and you can change it to other properties too like you can unanchor it and anchor it um but we don't want to do that right now uh, and then I'm trying to think of what else we should do for this. Uh, oh, let's, let's go ahead and, uh, we can keep this, uh, but we're just going to change, we're going to, at the beginning of the brick color, just say d a dash dash that comments out. Okay. So comments are things you can write anything you want and it roblox doesn't care it's just a comment it won't do anything it won't give you any errors okay and it will not do this thing anymore because we i want to make an explosion okay so we're now creating an explosion every second so if we run this game we should see explosions in the air where we specified the position should be boom look at that and there are explosions galore every single second there's a new explosion so that's pretty cool, and instancing is so powerful, I, I, I can't even tell you how powerful it is, because you can create anything, right? Later on, we'll get into values and very, oh, sorry, not variables, values, and we'll put those in the player to store data, um, but just for now, understand what instancing is and how to do it, and that you need to parent it somewhere, or else it's not going to do anything. Um, so we're parenting it in the, in the workspace right now, but... I'm going to go ahead and put this back. Let's do like a sphere. No. How do I? How do you? Uh, let's do a. Mm, I'm trying to figure out what we should add next. Let's add a. It really doesn't matter what you want to do. Um, but uh, yeah. So that is instancing. So uh, we are going to get into one other thing because today I just, I just decided literally right now that we're going to do instancing and cloning. So cloning is very, very similar. I'm just going to put this back to an explosion. Cloning is super similar to, um, to instancing. So let's create a new script and we'll just call this clone script. And inside of here, we can just uh, take this right here. We can duplicate it by hitting Control or Command D. Okay, so now we have two of these, and let's just drag it over here, and let's move it way up. Okay. Next, let's store this game part. Let's put it inside of server storage. And you're probably like, "What, Code Bro? You're supposed to have everything in the workspace so people can see it." I know, but we're gonna be doing something right now different. So something really quick, I'm recording over this video, but I just want to tell you what cloning is. So it's different from instancing because instancing is creating a brand new thing. Cloning is making a direct copy of something that is already in the game, already made. Because what we can say is we can go to, go to game.serverstorage.gamepart colon clone. Okay, and we can say uh, local game part equals because we're going to put it inside of a variable. So we're making a clone of this game part. And we can just say game part dot parent equals work uh, game dot workspace because now we want to put it in the workspace when we clone it. So now you'll notice that we have a cloned part. See, it's already here. 
and it's doing the same thing as this because we have a script inside of it telling you what to do. So that's cloning and instancing, and you can clone whatever you, literally whatever you want. You can come into the toolbox, and you can find these uh, soldiers. And you can put these soldiers in server storage. And you can just say dot clone, or the, uh, dot soldiers colon clone. And that's how you do it. Colon clone parentheses. That's all you do. And it makes a direct clone, and from there, we can store it wherever we want to store it. And there are our soldiers. I want him to, like, go into there. I don't know what it does. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so yeah, that is... We have tons of explosions, and we have soldiers. So that is cloning and instancing. Our game is getting pretty wild, isn't it? I guess there's not a whole lot left, or yet, <laughs> but you are learning the basics of scripting, and that's super important. So, as always, make sure to join our group. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Um, also, uh, yeah, join our group and grab our merch if you want to do that and support the channel in that way. Um, yeah, so special thanks to just everyone who watches it. Uh, just, I want to acknowledge uh, you guys and my viewers and subscribers and say thank you for that. So... Uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.